Okay, this is the trapezoid lecture. This is the trapezoid. The trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of opposite sides parallel. The parallel sides are called bases. That's one base, and here's another base. The non-parallel sides are called legs. Ah, oh, can't write sideways. Can you understand that? All right, these are the bases, these are the legs. So the first property of a trapezoid is that exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel. The second property of a trapezoid is that exactly two pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. Hmm, that's kind of cumbersome to say. We're going to coin a term here. We're going to call angle B and angle C a pair of leg angles. If you are watching this video from other high schools or classes or whatever, nobody calls these things leg angles except our class. Well, let me justify myself. All right. I know everybody calls angle D and angle C base angles. They're called base angles because they share a base. Angle A and angle B are base angles because they share a base. Well, what's wrong with calling these two leg angles? They share a leg. So angle B and angle C are leg angles. Angle A and angle D are leg angles. In a trapezoid, leg angles are supplementary. Segment EF is a median. A median is a line segment with endpoints at the midpoints of the legs. That's one definition. Another definition. A median is a line segment connecting the midpoints of the legs. Whichever one you like. All right, so you can tell E is a midpoint because of these congruence marks over here. Segment AE is congruent to segment ED. F is the midpoint of segment BC because segment BF is congruent to segment FC. Now, what's special about a median? There is a median formula. The median, the length of the median, is the average of the length of the bases. We say if M stands for median and B1 is one base and B2 is another base, the length of the median equals one half the two bases added together. Okay? All right. Also, the median, segment EF, is parallel to the bases. So segment EF is parallel to segment AB and parallel to segment CD. Okay. Anything else? No. Uh, one comment. The median divides a trapezoid into two trapezoids because of this property. This is an isosceles trapezoid. In an isosceles trapezoid, the legs are congruent. So that's basically the definition of an isosceles trapezoid. It's a trapezoid where the legs are congruent. Now, there are some other properties of an isosceles trapezoid. In an isosceles trapezoid, the base angle are congruent. So here, angle ADC is congruent to angle BCD. And this other pair of base angles are congruent. Angle DAB is congruent to angle CBA. Anything else interesting? Well, leg angles are still supplementary 
same like a regular trapezoid. I'm sorry, a typical trapezoid. Um, however, opposite angles are also supplementary. So not only leg angles are supplementary, but opposite angles are supplementary. And another property, I think this is the third one, is that the diagonals are congruent. Now this is a confusing property because it is shared by the rectangle and square. And the trapezoid is nothing like either of those, other than the fact that it has four sides. All right, so this is an isosceles trapezoid. The diagonals are congruent. The base angles are congruent. Legs are congruent. And opposite angles are supplementary. That's the isosceles trapezoid. And that's it. I'm going to go back to this for a minute. Uh, I think maybe an example or two using the medians might be helpful. So let's do that. Let's say we're given a problem where the length of the bases are given. So let's say AB is 10 and DC equals 16. If you're asked to find a median, that's going to be EF. The formula is 1 half the sum of the bases. My bases here are, let me scooch this up a little bit. All right. My bases here are 10 and 16. So 1 half, 26, or 13. And that's it. If you're given the bases and you're asked to find the median, then add the two bases and divide by 2, or multiply by a half. Let's say you're given a base and a length of a median. Let's say you're given AB is 6 and the EF is 10. How long is CD? Okay. Now, I'm going to put in X for CD. We still have the same formula, the length of the median let me write it in these line segment names, is equal to one half the sum of the bases. We know what EF is. EF is 10. One half. AB is 6. I'm calling CDX. So here's my equation. Now, some people like to distribute the one half. I prefer to multiply both sides by 2. So I can multiply the left hand side by 2. I can multiply the right hand side by 2. Multiply the left hand side is easy. Some people get confused when I multiply the right hand side by 2. When I multiply the right hand side by 2, the 1 half and the 2 cancel, leaving me with just 6 plus x. Now that's an easy equation to solve. So x is 14. Therefore, the length of the second base is 14. CD is 14. OK, that's a trapezoid.